So this is neither a reveal or an unboxing because I've already unboxed and if you watch the vlogs, I've already revealed. Hello and a welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. Today we are going to talk about my latest purchase, which is right here. But before we talk about this, little beauty right here I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already a thumbs up is always a very much appreciated and I'd love to see your comments in the uh, comments below and if you've nothing to say just put the uh, sunglasses emoji cheers okay should we get started have you got your favorite beverage I have Prosecco people cheers So I basically showed these on the vlogs when I went on holiday, but I've had quite a few messages about them. I didn't realise how popular they were when I got them. They were the last pair at the airport when I bought them. Normally, I wouldn't buy a last pair or I wouldn't buy a display model of anything, but I just, I really, really, really like them. In fact, I tried them on, I wasn't with Rico, I tried them on because I always try sunglasses on. I, wherever I am, if they're sunglasses, I will try them on. I just love them. My daughter-in-law, Ruth, she is the exact same, honestly. Anyway, so um, I tried them on and then I went away and I said to Rico, oh, there was a pair of glasses I really, really liked. And he's like, really? Because uh, if there's one thing I do not need, people, it is sunglasses, but I just... <laughs> I was going to say it's one of my addictions, <laughs> like nail varnish, like handbags. <laughs> anyway, back to the sunglasses. So I tried these on because like, okay, let's go and have a look at them. So I liked them and I said, right, okay, I'll take them. And they did not have another pair. So I was like, oh, I, I checked them over. They were absolutely fine. There was no scratches on them or anything like that. And being my father's daughter... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you are going to go, you did not. I asked for a discount. I says, well, as they're the last pair of glasses, um, can I get a discount? So she says, well, you're already getting them discounted. And But then she did, she put me in as a VIP and I got a further discount of £5 on them as well because there's this VIP thing at the, at the airport. Anyway and I got them discounted further to what they were. So I'm gonna talk about the pricing that I paid for them and what they retail for in the shops because I looked for them and I found them on uh, John Lewis. Shall we have a look at them? Okay, let's let's have a look at them. So they come and they came in this sliding cover like that and then the box which says Celine right there, okay and you open them up and then they're in their case and this case is very different to my other Celine glasses I have another pair of Celine glasses and I'll show you them as well and they just come in this nice case which I really really like they do do good cases Celine Gucci I haven't bought Gucci glasses for a long time but when I used to buy Gucci class <laughs> when I used to buy Gucci glasses that's quite hard to say. When I used to buy Gucci glasses, the cases were enormous. Okay, so the casing says um, Celine there. I'm sure this is leather, by the way. It is, it's leather. And so it's the Triumph sunglasses because they have the Triumph sign just there. Isn't that beautiful? There we go. And mine's like in the tortoise shell. That's what they look like. They do come in other colours as well. There we go. And this is what they look like. On. Oh, you can probably see it. Let me just turn the ring light off and then we can look at them without the ring light. And that's what they look like on. And they don't have that bit there. You know that bit, the wee nose bud things? When you put them up and then it just catches on your hair, which I absolutely hate, which my Fendi ones do. And it's such a nightmare. So I just, I mean, I know a lot of people do not like to put their glasses on their head. I do. And yeah, so that's basically what they look like. Let me just put the light back on. So that's 
the way they look like that and I absolutely love them so let me give you the code for these glasses just in case you're interested they are the Celine CL 40226U women's butterfly sunglasses and these are in the tortoise grey they look more like a kind of tortoise black I don't know uh, I don't know whether they're seeing the grey on that that's what they look like and the price of them right in John Lewis they retail for 400 pounds okay so when I let me show you the receipt so when I went to get them right it says that they retail for 370 and they had a discount of 61 pounds and 79 pence which took it to 308 pounds and 21 pence and then I got a discount of five pounds so say 303 pounds I paid for the sunglasses I know for some people that's a lot of money for sunglasses but I've always I've always worn designer sunglasses so the price doesn't shock me when it comes to designer sunglasses for my from the sunglass that I'm going to wear most of the time I tend to go for a designer pair if it's like a style that I know I'm not going to wear for a long time then it's TK Maxx so if I want like a frame with rose gold which is not really something I wear a lot of but I fancy a pair I'll go to TK Maxx or if it's around sunglasses you get the drift okay let me just show you my other Celine pair as well I've had these for years now um, I can't remember how much these retailed for but they don't have any of the Celine markings there they just say Celine on the inside I don't know if you'll be able to see that made in Italy and this is what these look like I'll turn the light off again so these are my other these I tend to wear more so if I were going to Cyprus kind of in the winter months these are I tend to wear them but of course sunglasses you can wear any time of the year just it just depends on my outfit what I'm wearing if it matches it so I just thought I would show you my other Celine glasses that I have as well I have like I said I have no idea what they cost or anything like that I just wanted to show them properly because I've been asked lots of questions on my Instagram about them so that's the code right there and I picked them up from the airport from Glasgow Airport you know it's worth phoning if you are interested in something there's everything there's all the details so you can see if you are interested in anything you know airports are happy to reserve things for you it's it's not a problem I had no intention of buying any sunglasses or anything like that but I saw them and I was just really really attracted to them like I said even though they were the last pair I wanted them but I had no idea they were kind of the in sunglasses <laughs> until I was getting messages on my Instagram so that's them I'll try and link these ones that I've seen at John Lewis um, in my description box and that way it will let you see you know the details of them close up so thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed the video remember and if you'd like to see more I'm gonna link one here here and if you're not subscribed it's the A right here and I'll see you next time bye cheers <laughs>